Good morning, good morning, good morning peeps. Welcome back to another vlog. My name's Lisa. Can you guess where I am? Well, you probably can't guess where I am, but I am in Beijing, China. I arrived here last night um, from Brisbane. Uh, two flights to get here with Southern China Airlines. Um, I am doing a 12-day trip -a deal. I am gonna take you along. This is like day two, because last night was day one. Today we are going to Tiananmen Square, uh, the Forbidden City, a few other things, but let's go. So this is Robin, he's our guide for our time in Beijing. We're here for two days. He's giving us a lowdown on some Chinese information and history as we make our way to the first pit stop. Okay, so we have made our first pit stop peeps. We are at heading to Tiananmen Square. We had about an hour and a half on the bus. We have taken an express pass through, no bags. We have got water, a camera, our passport. Um, it's very, very busy. We are here at about 10.30, 11 o'clock. Apparently we're here for about three and a half hours. Let's go. We didn't think we would actually be able to get up close and personal. There she is back there. We got an express pass through, which meant all we could bring in is water, a quick camera. Uh, obviously, I'm filming on my phone. Uh, otherwise, we would have needed to line up for about an hour in the queue to get in. Uh, it's very hot here. I'm here in about our oh, end of May, but it's a beautiful day. Let's keep going. Okay, peeps, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of an update. So we have been walking around for about three hours. Three hours around Tiananmen Square. We are in the Forbidden City and it is a scorcher. We're here at the end of May. This little gadget here has been so handy to keep up to speed with our guide because without it, we would probably get lost. It's crazy busy, crazy hot, and it's kind of like Coming in without any backpack or anything obviously gets us in quicker, but when you're carrying water, a couple of cameras, um, obviously you have to carry your passport because that is your entry in. Um, it's been a little bit difficult, but anyway, it's a beautiful day here. We have some free time, so let's go and scope this place out.
the row number, row three, or row, row four. Okay, it's here. That's a row number. Yeah. And uh, so the third row here, actually, wow. that's the first row. Oh. You can find the row number on the ground. Okay, okay row number on the ground. So we are ending out our day here at the Happy Valley. Uh, it's been a long, hot day. It's nice and refreshing in here. This is an optional tour oh, no, which costs 350 um, Chinese dollars. Um, it's an hour and it is called the Golden Mask. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Oh, the day has come to an end, Pete, and I am back here at the hotel. Uh, checked in last night, staying here for three nights. The Huan Huan Resort. I'll link below. I should actually take you for a spin around the hotel, uh, the hotel room that is. Today, it was a mammoth day. Three and a half hours of walking around Tiananmen Square, Forbidden City, in here the day at the Golden Mask Show. I hope you enjoyed the footage that I put in there for that show because it was pretty spectacular. I do highly recommend doing that optional tour, 350 Chinese money. Um, got a big day tomorrow, so I will spot you tomorrow, mates. 2008, Olympic Games medal, they are in Levitt's Jane. Daughter, then granddaughters. Okay. Oh, look, they have a bar here. I did not know that. Oh. Good morning.
morning, good morning, good morning peeps. It is another day here in Beijing. And guess what? We have made it to the Great Wall. That's right. We have driven about two hours from the hotel this morning. We stopped in at the Jade Gallery. Yes, did I make a purchase? Maybe. Um, but today we conquered height the Great Wall. Um, we didn't go all the way. We did not go all the way. It is rather hot. It is a scorcher today. So I would highly recommend that if you are coming here, you hydrate with plenty of water. So let me just show you how far we got. Hello, listen. Okay, so listen, oh, my cousin. So this is a bamboo slip, hero certificate. Okay, so all handcuffed. So you can see here, that's a Chairman Mao's poem. You're not a true man, not a hero, until you hike the Chinese Great Wall. And uh, here, that's a Great Wall carving. Okay, Ju Yong Pass, not other sections. Fortress 7, let's go in. Oh. Oh. oh no, there's people here. Oh. breaking, falling down, like rubbish bins are flying across, like things are just flying everywhere. So I'm not actually too sure if this is going to go to plan, but we will possibly wait out the storm. Okay, we're on and we're moving. Oh, and I oh we're too heavy mate, we're too heavy! Oh no, we're too heavy! <laughs> oh! Yeah! Oh! Like an obstacle course! Like an obstacle course! Oh, oh my god, the trees have fallen down! Like, look at those trees down there! Like. tree guys look at that tree yep look that's how bad the storm was drowned rats you seen the 
some of the branches and trees that were fallen down. The storm has actually gone down. It would not have most definitely been safe doing it in the peak of the storm because, yeah, definitely not safe. But anyway, we've been, we're staying dry, even though we're already wet. Um, but yeah, Rick Shaw, tick, done and dusted. <laughs> Those were the shops that we were huddled in when the rain was a storming. So this is a hutong, I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's where our pedicab tour took us. They're a big part of Chinese culture dating back some 700 years. Typically narrow lanes with houses on either side where locals live as a community. We had some free time to have a little look-see. This area in Beijing is called Jinshihai, which I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's a more historic part of Beijing and more of what I was expecting when coming to China, a more traditional vibe. There was a beautiful lake and a lot of variety of shops, souvenirs and many food options. I did not indulge as the second part of our tour was a traditional dinner with a local family. <laughs> so I do highly recommend this tour. The group had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, a little bit of alcohol, some delicious food, and it turns out I actually don't like sake. Yeah, I don't like it. Even though I have no taste, I don't like it. Hey, hey, hey there, peeps. It is our last day here in Beijing. We are heading to Zion by the bullet train today. First stop is the Torrens um, Traditional Chinese Medicine. Um, yes, I made me a purchase because just in case you haven't realised, I'm sick. Yep, I'm sick. Um, hopefully I don't have COVID. But anyway, another long day, so let's go. So it's day four here in Beijing and there's actually not much on the itinerary, just a stop here. We had a classroom-like introduction slash lesson about traditional Chinese medicine where we were given a free consultation. That's right, suck it in. I'd heard good things about how good this stuff was and because I was feeling a little bit sick, I did make a purchase. Some of us were indulged in a good relaxing massage. Beijing there was a little bit of retail shopping before we made our one-hour bus ride to the train station. So Beijing to Xi'an. We're traveling by bullet train. It's about 1,200 kilometers. It's going to take us about five and a half hours. So let's go. I know I'm not last. <laughs> Oh yeah.